that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now When we've been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when. Amazing grace, how sweet the Today we gather for the 28th Sunday of Ordinary Time in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. May the peace of the Lord be with each of you. Let us put ourselves before God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you come as light in the midst of darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come as peace in the midst of confusion. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come as wisdom in the midst of difficulty. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. We praise you, we bless you, we 
Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after us so that we might always use our gifts to build your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and understanding was given me. I called on God, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepters and thrones, and I accounted wealth as nothing in comparison with her. Neither did I liken to her any priceless gem, because all gold is but a little sand in her sight. And silver will be accounted as day before her. I love her more than health and beauty, and I chose to have her rather than light, because her radiance never ceases. All good things come to me along with her, and in her hands uncounted wealth. My sisters and brothers, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing Joy. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O oh Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Fill us with your love, O oh Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love. break with your kindness that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days make us glad for the days when you afflicted us for the years when we saw evil fill us with your love O oh Lord and we will sing for joy fill us with your love O oh Lord and we will sing joy. Fill us with your love, O oh Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O oh Lord, and we will sing for joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joint from narrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And before God, no creature is hidden, but all are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one to whom we must render an account. My sisters and brothers, word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. O Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God himself. You know the commandments. You should not murder. You should not commit adultery. You should not steal. You should not bear false witness. You should not defraud. Honor your father and mother. The man said to Jesus, Teacher, I have kept all these since my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You lack one thing. Go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the man heard this, he was shocked and went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were perplexed to these words. But Jesus said to them, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were greatly astounded and said to one another, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For humans it is impossible, but not for God. For, for God all things are possible. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So this Gospel story always kind of perplexes me. Here's this guy who runs up and wants to join the Jesus team and be a disciple. He's followed all the rules, and somehow he doesn't get it that following the rules or the commandments does not get you a relationship with Jesus. Because with Jesus, part of that relationship is that you have to, it, it always costs us something. You know, there's a whole book called The Cost of Discipleship or The Price of Discipleship. But what it is is that, in fact, he was not about building a relationship with Jesus. He was following the rules. And it's a big difference between the two. So Jesus basically says, well, you have a lot of things that get in the way of you following. You need to get rid of some of your stuff. And the story here about the camel and the eye, there's actually the background of that because it sounds so absurd. There was a gate in one of the, the I think it was coming into Jerusalem, called the eye of the, of the needle. And it's, I think it looks like a, a, a gate where if you have a camel, you can get through. But if your camel has lots and lots of stuff stacked on it, you can't get through. So they would know the joke that you can, you know, it's easier for a camel to get through the eye of the needle. Well, the, and the camel doesn't have all of your TV set, your stereo, and all your other doodads on there. It can get through. Well, the point is that sometimes we have stuff that gets in the way of our relationship with Jesus. It doesn't always, this is not a knock on people who have wealth. It's basically, what do we do with our stuff? Because our stuff might not be wealth. It could be, like, we have one of our neighbors here who every Sunday, if I look out, he's out there polishing his car. I don't know if he goes to church anywhere, but he polishes his car for a couple hours every Sunday. Maybe that's what makes him happy. But sometimes I've seen people who the car becomes more important than the people who are in the car and their family. The same thing happens with all kinds of other stuff. Well, what Jesus is saying at the very last line says, well, you know, to be saved, what's the line says, then who could be saved? And Jesus said, for humans it's impossible, but for God it's not. Why? Because we, we don't save ourselves. Salvation is a gift from God. And to receive that gift, we have a need to have a relationship with God. To have a relationship with anyone, you have to first of all take time with them. That's what we call prayer. We take time to talk with God, it's like we talk to our friends. If we have someone we're in friendship with, we get to know them. We know about their family, their history, their background. As Christians, we get to know who Jesus is by reading the scriptures, reading about you know, his God the Father and the Spirit. If we really want to become friends with someone, after a while we become friends with their friends. Well, that's why we gather on Sunday for church. We gather at other events. We gather here virtually to be with other people who are also trying to follow Jesus. So. No, it's kind of like this all builds our relationship. Also, if we're trying to build a relationship or friendship with Jesus, we learn to see Jesus in other people, and even sometimes in ourselves. I mean, just watching all the news this week about the people who are helping folks from those two hurricanes, Helene and Milton, of how many people went out of their way and often drove hundreds and hundreds of miles to help these folk. Not because they knew them, but because, as one guy says, you know what? I got three healthy sons, and I got a big truck, and we've done this before. We know what we're doing, and we decided to join the effort. That's what it's all about. It's not about you know, where you live and what your politics are. It's about, you know, I want to use my gifts to help someone. And 
and I'm sure some of those people are going to say to these guys, you were angels from God for us, because in many ways that's what they are. We're seeing thousands and thousands of folks doing that right now this week as these poor folks are trying to rebuild their lives again. So the point of the whole story today in the gospel is that if we want to really be able to celebrate that we are saved through God's grace, that we need to have that relationship with Jesus. So I just invite us to ask ourselves, do we have anything get in the way of that? Sometimes what gets in the way of it is our own laziness. Sometimes our selfishness. Sometimes it's like what gets in the way of our relationship with Jesus is we just don't focus enough energy to really develop that relationship. And then we wonder why Jesus seems so far away when we really need him for something. So... The good news is that this is a free gift given to us to be in a relationship, to follow Jesus. And to follow, of course, means we go where Jesus goes. And Jesus is always about healing, forgiveness, hospitality, generosity, and welcoming all those on the fringe, all the leftovers, the migrants, the people who don't fit in. If we can follow Jesus in that way, we'll definitely end up where Jesus lives, which is heaven. Amen. Let us pray our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, the Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven and earth, earth of all, all things, things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, I believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only begotten Son of God, God born of the Father before all ages, ages God from God, God light from light, light, true God from true God, God begotten not, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By, By the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate in the Virgin Mary and became man. For our, our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us present to the Lord our needs. For all those severely affected by Hurricane Helene and Milton, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's spirit to guide our elections, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the Middle East, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. I invite you to lift up your own needs and concerns. Lord God, we present to you these and all of our needs. We make them known in confidence through your son Jesus, who lives with us and through us now and forever. Amen. Amen. As we prepare the altar, I thank all of you for your Continue generosity. Lord God, we ask you to bless this bread, this wine, fruit of the field, the fruit of the vine, so it soon becomes the very body and blood of Jesus. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice in yours become acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, name for, for our, our good and good of all God's, God's holy church. church. Accept, the Lord, the prayers of your faithful, and with these sacrificial offerings, and through our acts of faith, may they strengthen us on our journey to heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all that you've made and forever praise you in your mighty works through your son Jesus. We join all the angels as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and gave me thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave me thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, and all of the women and men who lead and guide the church. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Martin, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ through him, with him, in him. O God, almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the fullness of God's kingdom as we say. Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our our daily bread bread, and and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with each of you. And with your spirit. I invite you to share the Lord's peace with those around you. Lamb of God, you take Take away away the sins sins of the world. world. Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb of God, God, you take take away away the sins sins of the world. world. Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away away the sins of the world. world. Grant Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him. It takes away the sins of the world. Blessed to those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you under my roof, but only say say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite you to spiritually ask the Lord Jesus to continue to strengthen your relationship. This is the body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. We ask you, O Lord, most humbly to strengthen us, having given us now your holy body and blood. May it strengthen us to build your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to pray with our family in prayer for justice and human dignity. Loving, Loving and faithful God, God we, we come, come to you, Father, to ask that through your Son, Jesus, and in communion with the Holy Spirit, Spirit you help us in the battle, battle against America's, America's original sin of racism, divides us from being the body of Christ, that we are called to be as your children. We implore you to give us your wisdom so that we may build a community founded on the gospel message of the life and dignity of all people from the womb to the tomb and to live in communion like the divine communion of the Holy Trinity. Bless parents, they may form their children of faith to love one another regardless of skin color ethnicity, and national origin, just as Jesus loves us. Bless and protect all of us as we live in our faith to be an instance of your peace, as St. Francis said. Fill us with a thirst for justice and righteousness. Hear our prayer. Give us the courage, compassion, and perseverance to root out any form of injustice within our communities and to bring the healing love of Christ to all in need. Blessed, Blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of our, our Church, hasten to help us and intercede on our behalf, behalf so that our Archdiocese can continue to witness to the gospel message for the life and dignity of all people. people. Amen. Our announcements, so we're having a special second collection this Sunday for all the victims of both Hurricane Celine and Milton. This is to support Catholic Charities USA that's on the ground both in North Carolina and in Florida. So 
For those of you who join us on our YouTube mass, you can always send it through Parish Stuff Giving, um, PayPal, or the old-fashioned way, just mail a check and just put on it, Hurricane Relief. I don't know where it needs to go. Let's see, next week, the 20th of September, September, October, whatever month it is, October, that's it. We have the Georgetown Medical Students joining us after the 9 o'clock Mass. We're doing, um, uh, in honor of domestic, awareness, domestic violence awareness, we're having to invite people to wear purple at church on Sunday. Um, whereas, uh, this coming Sunday, the 13th, is when you sign up for share. There's three specials, a pork chop special, beef box, and a breakfast box. Next Sunday, the September, I don't know why. See, I went on vacation for three weeks. I lost three weeks somewhere in my calendar, my brain. October the 20th is when we have the children at 12 o'clock mass for our, our family mass. So we'll live stream that. So if you want to join our live stream mass, in addition to this one, it'll be next weekend. It'll be on the little link we send out with this mass. So you can plan ahead. And we can continue to in, invite you to choose your voting plan as someone put it very clearly, voting is both a right and a responsibility. And maybe the greater challenge is to get some of the people in our families who often give up on the system to say, no, we need you to vote. Simple as that. Birthdays I know about. I know what month it is now. My birthday is October 12th, which is the day this mass releases. So believe it or not, I'll be 76 years old and I'm still working. Thank you, Jesus. The other birthdays, I think it's, is it Millie's birthday? Yes. Okay, Millie, one of our... Okay, they're trying to give me her last name, which is African, which I won't get right. I'll go with Millie, I can get that one. Any other birthdays we know about, guys? See, we don't have Deacon Bobby here. He has a thousand people in his family. Well, that's all I know about. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord continue to open our eyes and our heart so we can continue to deepen our relationship and love for Jesus. Let the church say, Amen. May the Lord give blessing in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.